we're about to see how long these headphones last with his as a uh, what's it called the thing battery's low on them but we're gonna, we're gonna play this game we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens story time in this stream, which will be all kinds of fun. Post that out to all the socials, and all that fun stuff. Just wait for everybody to hop on in. Should have a fun story time. Let's chat a little bit later on. Bet you die more than twice. I will take that bet, good sir. I will take that bet, good sir. I need to work on a better lighting situation for here. The lighting in here is not that great. I wonder, did our emotes get approved yet? Got it. Someone gifted me a subscription to a random channel the other night, and it kind of threw me off. Just because I'm like, it's like that Thanos meme. It's like I don't even know who you are. Not that Thanos talks like that, but yeah. Let me get my snack and stuff, all that stuff ready. Snackage. Get that good to go. I was, uh, testing out the audio. I was testing out the audio, um, because we put a new soundboard in at my church, and I was testing the audio for the, um, the sermon. I looked at the clock, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be streaming here soon. Um, let me, let me move my face uh, to another area real quick, so that way it's not... It's not in the way of some of the menu items. There we go. That's better. But yeah, I looked at the camera, or not the camera, I looked at the clock and was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be, uh, I'm supposed to be streaming. I should probably turn off notifications. I don't know, let's hop on the game real quick so I see where I can put my face. Maybe I just put it in the bottom left corner and uh, go from there. That might be a little, a little bit better uh, for the stream. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out myself uh, until we get a little bit of a better setup going on. Yeah, I can't put them in the bottom left. If I put it in the bottom left, can't see my health. And then I'm just kind of in trouble at that point. So we'll just roll with it. We'll roll with it. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be playing some Sekiro tonight. Going to hopefully get past this boss that we are uh, working on here. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to stream until, well, at least for an hour. Maybe more. We'll see what kind of groove I get into in this game. Um, a few things to take note of. Again, there are chat commands in the title of uh, the stream here, so you can use those at any time. To get some info, stream elements is a, is a bot that I use. It will post some stuff here and there throughout the stream, throughout the duration of the stream. Uh, things of that nature uh, but yeah so we'll be doing that we'll be playing some Sekiro tonight should be fun should be awesome we're gonna have a lot of fun with it and we're gonna go from there uh, but before we get into the stream I'm gonna pray real quick that we just have a good fun time hanging out here uh, and then we will uh, we will go from there we'll see how that goes 
All right, let me go ahead and pray for us, and then we'll go ahead and, and get into the game here. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that we could just come together to hang out, play some games, uh, and to just chat and uh, just have a little bit of fellowship. God, I pray in this time uh, you would you would calm me down, you would keep me from freaking out whenever I lose and don't do well in this game. I gotta pray that you would just remind me that even though I may be terrible at this game, that has no bearing on my identity in you. Right, I gotta pray for the chat. I pray they have a good time watching me uh, squirm in this game and progress in this game. And God, I just pray that we have a good time tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get into the game. I've got a fun stuff out a little bit later on, uh, but let's drop into the game first. Uh, like I said at the top of the stream, uh, before I started, I don't know how long this headset is going to last me. Uh, yeah, I left it to charge while I was gone uh, for Sunday night church, and it, uh, yeah, it just, it didn't charge. And so I don't know, I don't know what's going on with it. But we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, if you're in chat, night, good sir. How are you doing, man? How's your weekend been? Talk to me, man. Are you excited for Monday tomorrow? <laughs> I actually kind of am. I'm excited for tomorrow. Oh, there's a notification there. That, I need to just disable that. Uh, you know what? Let me see if I can disable that real quick. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to disable notifications so it doesn't cover my face like that. Check in the notifications. Check in the notifications. Checking the notifications. Checking the note. Note the notifications. Pop-up notifications gone. We are good to go for the stream, kiddos. Boys and girls, we are ready to rock and roll. You're ready to rock and roll. Great, bro. We had student accept Christ tonight. Dude, amen. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's always a good feeling when that when that happens. Love that. Not excited for work tomorrow. kind of understand that. I kind of understand that. I'm going to try and eat these peanuts while I'm streaming. We'll see how that goes. If it's a little too loud, I'm probably just going to forgo that. But yeah. That's awesome, dude, that, that one of your students accepted Christ. It's always a good feeling. Are they going to... Are they going to get baptized here pretty soon? Or... Just know when one of my students accepted Christ uh, back in December, we kind of waited a little bit because he wanted all of his family members uh, to come and attend. Come on. Not the way that I wanted it to go. Let me run back. Never mind. Never mind. Let's um, let's get a death count started in chat. It's the first time. I'm just gonna restart it because I don't want to waste uh, my healing gourd and all that stuff. I'm a bivocational student minister, school teacher by day, student minister by night and weekends, dude. Praise God for people like you, man. Because I, I don't know if I could do something like that. Like that's, like that's that takes a lot of uh, work. I would imagine that you're you're probably uh, tired pretty often. But at the same time, that's kind of cool though, because you get to see a lot of your students at school. So you kind of just get to keep being a youth pastor throughout the day. So that's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. Let me see, talk to her dad. He's been attending elsewhere. I'll have to see if he lets her get baptized at my church. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. It's one of the hard things about youth ministry that I found is having students that uh, 
come to your youth, your youth group and um, but like their parents go to other churches and so you kind of have this uh, awkward tension in there like with my youth group we have a couple students that go to other churches um, but they come to our youth group and so it's weird because they'll go to that church on Sunday but they don't but they'll come to our youth on Wednesday um, so it's like this weird tension there. Like I love having them there. I'm glad that they're that they that they show up on Wednesdays. Um, but yeah, it it uh, I just think that if you have the students, oh, I did this so wrong. Um, you know, if they're able to be there on Sunday too, it kind of helps continue building that that community because they're there for more than just a Wednesday. But. Kind of is what it is. You just roll with it. You just roll with it. I'm working on trying to get my timing down with the uh, with the blocks and stuff here. So as soon as I take out this guy here, I'll get caught up on chat. be able to unlock so many things if I just keep doing this. I didn't get to teach in the same district that my church is in. Ah, oh, gotcha. Well, I mean, that's kind of cool, though, because then you get, like, a bigger mission field, right? You get to kind of uh, witness to, to other students. So that's kind of cool. It's just, like, expanding your ministry, I guess. Right. Right. That's always fun. But still, though, man, appreciate you. I know, I know that's tough. If there's uh, if there's any way I can be praying for you, you let me know. I know youth ministry is a is a unique kind of beast in ministry. Um, so definitely uh, hit me up if you have any prayer requests, man. I know you're in the Discord. Uh, feel free to drop them in the prayer request channel. But yeah, God bless you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. You keep doing what you're doing. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to try a new uh, method out here uh, with this. It might be considered cheap. I don't really know, but I'm going to do it anyway. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but it basically involves taking these guys out one on one. So let's go. Get some hype in the chat. Oh, crud. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run away. <laughs> Disengage the enemies. And then we'll run back. We'll see if this works though, I don't know. Oh no, did the NPC engage in combat? He was not supposed to do that. Oh boy. Well, so much for that plan. All right. How a bunga it is, chat. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna go over there and see if we can't get those other guys. Oh man, I can't believe that didn't work. But I did one time, because I got on here last night and tried to do this fight, and uh, yeah, it didn't really go too well. But I did manage to get some of the timing down uh, for the attacks, so I should be able to deflect a little bit easier than normal. But again, we're about to find out. Go. 
Let's see if we can take him down. Oh, no, 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 no. Crud. Yeah, let's just, let's redo it. That was really bad. That was a very bad run. I was going to say, Bevo lets me help smaller churches that can't afford a full-time guy. It's a calling, and I appreciate the encouragement. Yeah, man, anytime. Anytime. If you ever need a hype beast, you let me know. I will hype you up. I will hype you up. I will hype you up. But yeah, I'd like to take this time to also remind you that as you continue to watch the stream and interact in chat, you earn Dear Doubloons. What are Dear Doubloons? They are a special currency awarded to you for watching the stream that allows you to redeem a variety of things within the stream. Uh, we don't have emotes just yet, so you can't really do anything with those. However, you can redeem them to force me to tell a joke. Whether or not that joke is funny depends entirely on your sense of humor. And not only that, you appreciate and ask me anything where you put in five rapid-fire questions that I have to answer mid-stream. If you put it during a boss fight, I don't know what is going to happen then, but that should be interesting. But yeah, you can always check that down there. You probably see the TRG Deer logo down there, accumulating points in the chat bar. That is where your Deer Doubloons will be cashed in. You can bank those in at any time during the chat, during the stream. Enjoy those. Have fun. I've got a few ideas, actually, on adding in a couple of those. So be on the lookout for those later this week. Get some more ways that you can cash in your Deer Doubloons here on the stream. Let's see, let's wait for this guy here before he does something crazy. But yeah, like I said, enjoy those dear doubloons. As you continue watching, you continue getting them. And if you interact in chat, you get even more. So feel free to interact in chat. If you are new here, welcome to the Reform Gamers. Feel free to leave a comment. Not a comment. Leave a chat thing. You know what I'm talking about. Words are hard. To leave a thing in there, introduce yourself. Tell me what your favorite video game is. And also how you found us. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We're going to be playing some Sekiro. I'm going to try and play this at least. We're going to see how this goes. There we go. Got him. And we're about to take out the bowman. Not today. You are not getting that arrow off. Good sir. You are done. You are done. Let's see what we got going on here. Got another big guy coming down the pipe. Here we go. I cannot block. <laughs> come on. Whoa, where did this guy come from? He just appeared out of thin air. Oh my gosh, it would help if I could get the blocks down. I was told not to hold down the block button because that makes your posture damage way worse. I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. Ha ha ha! Oh crap. There we go. Man. So clearly my deflection still needs some work, but we'll see if we can get those done here on the stream. We'll see if we can get that done here on the stream. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, if you are new, yes. hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Sorry, my editor. We have an editor for our podcast, and he just messaged me on Discord. Uh, Mr. Burns from The Simpsons doing an evil laugh. So I don't know what he's putting in tomorrow's episode. I can guarantee it'll probably be pretty goofy. Pretty goofy. He says I'm going to flip out. I don't... I don't know what I'm going to flip out about, but I do like flipping out. It's always fun to do, at least when you're excited about it. But yeah. So, I guess I can get into the story time here a little bit. Um, at least set it up. You know, because I mentioned at the top of the stream uh, that I have a little bit of a story time. A little bit of a story time for us here to enjoy here on the stream. I am so glad that that hit when it did. 
shoot the arrow. There you go. Not today, big boy. Not today. Not today. No. No. Okay, maybe I won't get into story time just yet. Oh, boy. Okay, don't go for the other guy. Okay, you're going to take a while to drink that. I'm going to take out this guy while you're doing that. Shield. Kind of forgot about him. Not gonna lie. Okay, it's kind of hard to really fight these guys when they're acting like that. Let's see if this will disengage the fight. He can't come up. Here. Oh my gosh, he can come up there! I didn't know he could climb on steps. How was I supposed to know he can? He can take steps. You gotta be kidding me. I can hear him. Oh man, this just became a horror game. Is he up there? No way. Is he serious? Oh my gosh! He can attack me through the floorboards? Okay, I was not expecting this. <laughs> oh man. Am I stuck here? Uh-oh. Am I okay? The music stopped. That means I'm okay. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know he could climb steps. I didn't know he could climb steps. That's a... That's a new thing for me. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Oh my goodness. Alright, okay. Uh, how did you... Oh, man. I would be like the worst ninja ever if I were a ninja. Okay, there's one. Where's the other guy? You cannot see me that far. I do not believe it. You just drank some sake, dude. Your vision cannot be that good. Okay, he's over there. I can get him. All right, so let's try story time one more time. Let's try that one more time. Um, so as I mentioned in yesterday's stream, if you missed that, you can go in the archives and check that out. We were streaming Skyrim in memory of uh, Bob Merrill, one of our community members who passed away earlier this month. Um, you can check that stream out in the archives. But I mentioned in that stream, and really any time I've streamed, I've brought this up, that I love TikTok. I love TikTok. I love that app. I really really do um, but I noticed uh, one of the cool things that I like about TikTok is that there's a large community of Christians on TikTok and I'm like okay I can jive with this like I like this this is what I like to see you know Christians engaging in a social media platform uh, for the purpose of sharing the gospel and also maybe some memes here and there but something I noticed uh, in one particular TikTok video, I can't see the enemy's uh, health bar. I just realized. Let's see if I can get him with this. Um, hang on. Hang on, I've got this. I will tell the story here in a second. Okay, he didn't survive. And I have no idea what his health is at, because I can't see it because my face is in the way. Okay, chat, I will continue the story as soon as I beat this guy, because I'm going to beat this guy. Got. Okay, you got poison breath. That's cool. Golly, that has a wide area. Oh, he blocked it. Okay, he can do a little shove and shove. Crud, my posture's down. 
It's okay though. I can I can do this thing called uh, resurrect round two, Brotato. You are not getting me with that little shove move you got, or your sword move. It's probably a good thing that my face is up there in the corner because I was probably super close to defeating him and if I knew how close I was, I would be very upset right now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually going to move it over to the right because I don't need to know how much experience I, I have. I really don't need to know that. So let me move that real quick. Ooh, that was close. I almost ended the stream on accident. Okay. Alright, so there we go. So story time. Uh... So I love TikTok. I spend a lot of time on there. Uh, there's a cool com community of Christians on there. Uh, and I like it. I, I really enjoy it. It's just a cool thing. So what I love about TikTok is there's a, there's a community for everyone, it seems like. And so you, you can really belong on that app. That's, that's what makes social media great, is there tends to be a community uh, for anyone. Uh, but, you know, within Christian circles... There is a section uh, that is called the Prosperity Gospel. Now, what the Prosperity Gospel does is it takes things like the Gospel and leads people to believe that if you don't have a set amount of money in your bank account, uh, you're not obeying God. If you, uh, if you aren't giving money to a certain person's ministry you're outside the will of God and to be honest to a degree I get that there is some biblical precedence for some of that stuff however um, the church is not all about money Christianity is not all about money despite what some of these uh, prosperity gospel teachers would have you believe and so there was someone on TikTok who took an example of one of these uh, prosperity gospel teachers uh, who basically said that if you are poor, broke, and defeated, then, in essence, uh, you are not glorifying God. Now, in that one particular snippet, it's a five-second clip, uh, in the broader range of what they were talking about, it probably makes more sense within context, uh, but considering who this person is... Uh, and considering the uh, several books that I've, uh, or several sections of their books that I've read, along with several sermons that I've seen them teach, uh, I think I know exactly where it is he's going with it. Um, and so, of course, you know, I, I agreed with the person who was making their points on their TikTok. You know, that you, you know, to be a Christian, you don't, like, a, in order to be a Christian, you don't have to be rich, you don't have to be put together. Um, and, and you don't have to feel victorious all the time, because there, there's times where you're just not going to. That's just how life is. Um, you know, and I, and I said, you know, when you look at the P Apostle Paul, when you look at his life, he, uh, you know, there were times where he was broke, and he was broken, uh, and he was defeated, or felt defeated anyway. But the cool thing about Paul is that we have this example of, even despite those circumstances, we can... Uh, have victory in Christ, but it, in the scope of what we're talking about here, uh, you know, I agreed with the, the person who was making their points on their video, and then brought up Paul. But what was weird to me was that there was a lot of people, not necessarily a lot, but there were at least several people trying to, I guess in a way, say that I was wrong uh, and that they disagreed with me. They weren't making their points very clear. Um, but it was just, it, it was weird to me. Because, from what I understood, I wasn't really saying anything out of uh, orthodoxy. But to some, uh, I was. And so... It's one of those things that I just wanted to bring up and talk about because it's important to actually read the Bible. Yes, the Bible does talk about spending money wisely, uh, using it to leave a legacy for your family, 
um, and things like that, not squandering your wealth on, um, like, I mean, one of the verses that the person brought up was where Jesus said, sort treasures in heaven, no sort of treasures here on earth. You know, so yeah, there's biblical precedence to be wise with your money and invest and to grow that wealth for the purpose of leaving a legacy and to do ministry. Uh, but that's not what it's all about. That's not what it's all about at all. But that's this kind of mindset that a lot of people get into, is that Jesus is just this magic wealth of genie when that's not it at all. A lot of people tend to take the verses out of context when it's talking about wealth, and they use that to justify all sorts of things. Yet we neglect the verse where Jesus says, what is it worth, what is it worth to gain the whole world yet lose your soul? It's a, it's a question of priorities. Wealth, money, all that stuff is not necessarily a major priority in the life of a Christian. The main priority is becoming more like Christ, and you become more like Christ by worshiping him and seeking his kingdom first, and then all this other stuff will be added to you. That doesn't mean you have to be rich. Doesn't mean you have to be put together. It definitely doesn't mean um, that you got to feel victorious all the time. That's the problem with the prosperity gospel: is that it would have you believe that if you're a Christian and you're sick, you don't have faith, um, and you need to give more money to whatever ministry it is that they're advertising. And I would actually recommend um, the documentary American Gospel for those that are curious about that, because that goes over a lot of that stuff uh, pretty well. Pretty in-depth, actually. But it's just weird to me. I, I, It's just weird to me. Like, I know that there's people out there that are involved in the prosperity gospel to some degree, whether they are supporting one or they are... Uh, whether they're supporting one or they're... Promoting one, but, but yeah, that stuff just—that's just not what Christianity is all about. I'm not saying you can't have money. I'm not saying you can't be rich or wealthy or anything like that. You definitely can, and you know, I'm actually all for that. I'm all about uh, you know running a business and doing that, but. The problem is, is that when become when that becomes your main focus instead of Christ, you've lost sight of things, and so it's just weird. I think I think the people that di that were disagreeing with me, I think if we actually sat down and talked, which is one of the, the flaws of social media, you, sometimes people just get a little snippet of what you're saying, or or they see your comment, I'll take it in the context of the whole thing, um, and rather than taking the time to ask you to elaborate, they just go on the offensive and go from there. Because in my responses to them, I asked them questions. And I was like, okay, well, is this what you're saying? And only one person responded. So I appreciate his response. But, uh, I don't know. That's just my challenge. You know, we are a Christian podcast. We do come at video games from a biblical worldview uh, because we believe that everything has a worldview in the realm of art. So we discuss those things. We're, we don't shy away from them because, well, we're not scared. And so, yeah, it's just, it's something I saw uh, today, and it's just kind of, I don't know, like I said, it was weird to me. It was weird. But it is what it is. Alright, let me see if I can take this guy down. Oh wait, okay, there we go. I didn't know how I dodged that, but I did. Alright, let's get him. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he got me for a second let him get a couple hits in. Oh dude, we've got him. Got him! Got him! He's down. How? No! Why did he die? 
Why? Oh, man. Ah. Uh. He wouldn't die. That stinks. That stinks. Oof. Oof indeed. I don't agree with word faith equals prosperity gospel. I have to elaborate on that one. I don't really know what it is that you're saying there, Kairos. Welcome to the stream, though. Appreciate you being here, man. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go over the basics of the stream. Chat commands are in the title of the stream. If you need a full list of commands, you can type in exclamation point commands in the stream. Gives you a full list of commands that you can utilize in the chat. And also, while you hang out in the chat, you earn Deer Doubloons. Deer Doubloons can be cashed in at any time that allow you to unlock... Well, we don't have emotes yet, so you can't do the emote thing. But you can initiate an Ask Me Anything, where you ask five rapid-fire questions in the middle of the stream. And then, you also can initiate a stand-up comedy mode where I have to tell one joke. That joke, whether or not it's funny, will depend on your sense of humor, but I'm going to tell a joke nevertheless. Nevertheless. But that is what we got going on here. If I remember correctly... Better go hide real quick. This is I'm close to another boss fight. It's a false direction. Gotcha! Gotcha. Now I'm reading you. Now I'm reading you. Loud and clear. But yeah. So it's just a weird thing. Like I said, it was just a weird thing. I don't disagree with you, Kairos, by the way. I don't disagree. It's a weird thing. I mean, I'm telling you, if you watch American Gospel, it'll really uh, kind of uh, open your eyes to it. Even if you are even if you are aware of this and have studied it before, uh, it just gives you, uh, I don't know what the word is, um, like a more in-depth look at some of these things and actually hear from people who uh, used to be involved in that sort of thing. So yeah, it's just wild, man. It's it's wild, you know. I always like anytime I hear something that I know is kind of iffy uh, in regards to the Bible, and I see people like celebrating it or going along with it, I'm like, man, do you guys like? Did you not like think this through? Question mark. But I mean, that's the thing is like. I remember when I first became a Christian, um, even a couple of years after that, there was some goofy stuff that I believed, you know. I wasn't always reformed, <laughs> you know. So it's just, I don't know, I think it's one of those things that, at least for me, I've had to learn to be patient with um, and to not just freak out on people. Because I used to be really bad about that. I used to be really bad about freaking out on people. Um you know, when I heard something false and just losing it, and, and like that's just not, that's just not good, you know. Um, so, trying to approach folks on social media with grace, but that's not always the easiest thing. So, one of the things that I've learned is to just uh, sometimes it's better just to just ignore um, that thing. Maybe not block the person necessarily, but definitely ignore. Um, the thing and just kind of keep on scrolling but you know that's that's what I've learned increases the healing effects of recovery items yes please I would like that I would like that for me the new AG the new age and the signs and wonder stuff yep or you said no but I'm saying yep in agreement to that I'm not a huge uh, fan of that stuff Actually, uh, our church secretary used to be involved in in that New Age stuff, um, but she has since come out of that. She's been out of it for several years now. Um, me and her have some real good conversations um, about some of the stuff that that she just remembers from that. So, I thought I brought a drink in here. Son of owl, I saw well, I did a not. dreadful vision. I have to go and grab one of those uh, a little more bit later on. And more. It wouldn't stop. Wouldn't stop. The young master. The young master is deep in the mansion. My son, Inosuke, went to rescue him. So he's probably fine. 
but but you never know the young master might need you rogue shinobi go to him will you <laughs> Our editor is editing. Um, he's editing the new episode of the podcast that goes out tomorrow. We're actually uh, it's a control spoiler cast, so if you've played that, uh, keep an eye out on the website, thereformedgamers.com. You can check that out there. Um, we'll be posting that a little bit later on. Uh, hopefully tonight, actually. Hopefully tonight. Um, but he's like messaging me some some vague things like you're gonna freak out when I show you this thing. And I'm like ah, I hope I do. <laughs> Oh man, I'm a eleven pointer. Didn't know that was a thing. Learn something new every day. I don't really label or title myself anything. If that makes any sense, yeah, no, it makes total sense. It makes total sense. It makes total sense. I have uh, some friends that don't really. That I mean, they lean reformed, but they don't necessarily hold to that title. I have some friends who, I mean, uh, they don't really hold to that because they've had some really rough interactions with people who, who do say that they're Reformed Christians. And I know this is probably going over some people's heads, so if you've got questions, drop them in the chat. I'll be happy to break them down uh, to kind of talk about that with you. Um, but yeah, uh, what does that do? Loose prayer beads strung together and offering to a sculptor's idol increases maximum vitality and posture a prayer bead necklace befits the strong. The ferocity of Ashina? Ashina? Bad with names. Army is renowned throughout the nation. Its generals are especially talented, every one of them. Accomplished in the Ashina swords. I'm pretty sure it's Ashina. Pretty sure. If I'm wrong, someone will let me know. Sweet. Got more health and more posture. That'll help out. Um, but yeah, they don't really go by the reform thing. Um, just because of the, the bad interactions they've had, which I don't really blame them. I've kind of seen some of the... What? There we go. Just stepping on out in the hallway. He's like, what's up? What's up? Let me see. I'm a tulip, solus, and God sovereignty. That's it. Everything just falls. <laughs> Sounds reformed to me. <laughs> uh, especially the whole God sovereignty bit. That's a huge one. It's actually one of my favorite doctrines. Ah, uh, she, na. I'm really bad with names, so I'm sure I will forget that. But thank you for correcting me. I appreciate that. It's gonna help me out with pronouncing these things a little bit later. Oh, I can talk to him. <sighs> You, the young masters, I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Dreadful oh, I'm definitely going to go in there. Techniques. I'm Without definitely going to go in there. Seed, it cannot be overcome. I have no Take idea what a snap seed is. It's not much, but it's what I have. Oh, it's a snap seed. Useful for breaking the effect of illusion techniques. If an illusion occurs, it is because someone created it crush the phantoms and return to reality one must defeat the creator of the illusion snap seeds can be of great help in that regard so basically if someone uses the sharingan that snaps me out of it okay what is this filled with medicinal water reduces burn buildup and slightly increases burn rate cannot heal so it's just for burning stuff Temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Okay, I'm probably not going to use that, so I will replace that with... What is that for? Oh, that's if someone invades my game, I guess? Okay, where is... Where's that thing I picked up? Oh, there it is. All right, well, here's hoping that this goes well. I'm going into this fight completely blind, so I have no idea what I'm about to encounter here, but we'll we'll see here. 
Well, I'm a fan of Reformed Theology. I would assume so. Some of the stuff that you listen listen there, I would say that you are. Still though, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Alright. I don't know what I'm about to fight, but... Uh, we're gonna go down this basement. We're gonna fight something. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no. I think I know who this boss fight is. I can't remember the character's name, but... If it's who I think it is, this is gonna be pretty intense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm about to fight the Madam Web. <laughs> I don't know what her name is, but it's Madam something. Oh, great. All right. We'll just take it as slow as I possibly can, and we'll, uh, we'll go for it. All right, here we go. Man, if I would have known I was going to fight Mother? her. Mother? Boy. Butterflies. Madam Butterfly, Everyone that's what it is. Is gone. My lord. Illusion technique. Ah. It's been a long time. Oh man. Son of Owl. Lady Butterfly. Lady Butterfly, that's her name. Okay. Leave us. Snap. Who are do what must be done? Oh man, yes. here we go. Here we go. Man, I remember watching a couple videos of this fight and it's it scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Now that son of an owl. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. Let us dance. Vitality and posture. Well, thank you for telling me about this now game. I only need to know this uh, way further beginning in the game. Okay, here we go. Ah! Oh, snap! Is she gonna let me heal? Oh, man. She throws those kunai, and it's like... Almost they like kind of... Uh, what's it called? Heat-seeking? Standing on a on a, a line or something. She almost reminds me of this one character from Inuyasha, was standing on those lines. Today, there we go. Whoa, 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 there. Uh, 
Not today. Whoa! Okay. I misread that. Her health's going down pretty good, though. I feel like I've got this. I feel pretty confident. It's probably a bad idea to say that, though, because now she's probably going to wreck me. Do I have any healing things? Let's pop a couple of those. Well, why am I not locking on? Oh, snap. Those kunai that she's throwing, man. It's kind of hard to read those when she's about to do them. Whoa! Ah, Man. Whew. Okay, so she's not as scary as I thought she would be. Still difficult, but not as scary as I thought she'd be. Not as scary as I thought she'd be. Because I remember watching the, the videos on YouTube of this fight and just being kind of overwhelmed by how fast she was moving, but... Uh, playing it here, it's it's kind of not um, it's kind of not as uh, terrifying, which is good. Okay, um, so let me see what is what is with my kit here. What do I have? See, I don't think she's using an illusion though. Maybe she is using an illusion. Um, uh, temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. I don't know. Maybe she uses an illusion later on? Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Haven't been able to focus with the death count. I'm watching a movie with the missus. Yeah, I think it's around three or four at this point. Oh, that sounds pretty accurate. I'm trying to think because... Probably wouldn't hurt to use one of these. Fire's gonna work. Let me, uh, you know what? Let me try the loaded shuriken and see if I can use that while she's kind of floating up in the air. Got her. Not today. There we go. Okay, so the loaded shuriken is the one to use. Oh, wrong button. Oh my gosh, that was so close. <laughs> I don't know why I healed.
Come on. Ah, oh, crud. Crud, crud, crud. Ah, crud. Come on. Ah, man, I misread that. Hi. Resurrection, let's go. Okay, right at that time. Come on. Yes! 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 Boom, baby! I can beat this game. Wait, 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 wait. What? No, 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 no. No way. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wrong one, wrong one. Oh, my goodness. The illusions can hurt me? Come on. You've got to be kidding me. What? What is that? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. Wow, bro. Wow. Wow. Man. Man. They really... They really lure you into a false sense of victory there. Wow, bro. Wow. Yo, Sekiro don't play around. This game don't play around. It's like, haha, you thought you won. But you didn't. Surprise. Now she's back with illusions. Oh, hey, what's up, stay-at-home gamer? Welcome to the chat, man. Thank you for following. Appreciate that. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That game that you were playing? Uh, wow, and I totally just forgot it. But the card game it looks pretty rad. I, uh, like I said in chat, I will probably be picking that up for my students. We, uh, we're doing this thing on Battlelands. Thank you, yes. We're doing this thing on Sunday nights tonight where we hang out. Uh, and just play kind of board games and all that stuff. Um, 20 bucks? Are you serious? That's super cheap. I'll totally pick that up. Um, awesome. So my editor just sent the new episode over. So I'm going to listen to it real quick. And just make sure that it sounds good. And then once we do that, uh, once I do that, I will get back into the game. But oh my goodness. Intense is right. I felt good though. Like I felt in a state of like zen or whatever you call it. Like I was in the zone. Like it's not that the fight is necessarily hard because she telegraphs a lot of her moves 
but hot diggity dog. I was not expecting her to come back with the illusions and then just be like, blah ha ha ha! I'm not actually dead! Just, it really caught me off guard. Really caught me off guard. I was not expecting that at all. I can't believe that, man. This game does not mess around. I tell you, this game does not mess around. But in a weird way, I kind of like that about the game. In a weird way, I kind of like that about the game. Alright, so I'm going to listen to this episode real quick. Uh, because my um, my editor needs to know if there needs to be any changes. So you guys actually get to listen to the new episode before anyone else has heard it. Um, here on stream. I don't know if you guys are going to hear it. Um, but yeah. Okay, you'll need to check the opening and around the 20 minute mark. Okay. Turn this up. So let me listen to this real quick so I can let my editor know if he needs to make any changes. Man, he is a genius. He got music from the game to, to open it up. Dude, this is epic. I don't even know if Skinner's watching, but if he is. Good job on the intro. Good job on the intro. Holy cow. Did you say 2430? 2430. 2430. 2430. Oh, did he get. No. Did he get the song from the game? Dude, our editor for our podcast, like our show was like right here before our editor, but he took it and was just like, put it up to the roof. Seriously. Our editor is a flippin' genius. You are a maestro, good sir. I didn't even spell maestro correctly. I'm going to talk to him real quick and let him know he did a good job. You're a maestro, my dude. It's an awesome dude. Awesome dude. Awesome. Awesome dude, our editor. Awesome dude, our editor. Red Comet, dude. Welcome to welcome to the stream. Welcome to the chat. Rip Kobe, indeed, good sir. Rip Kobe, indeed, good sir. F in the chat for Kobe if you guys would like to join Red Comet. Yeah, I, uh, I was talking to Stay at Home in his stream about this a little bit. I didn't really follow, like... When I was following basketball pretty, um, not religiously, but pretty consistently, uh, was back when Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen, they were all playing. Um, so that's when I, that, like, that's my basketball era. That's what I grew up in. But I know for a lot of people, Kobe was their Michael Jordan. And so, man, it, it's wild to hear the news that, that, that he died today. It's so wild so wild you know what let's uh that's ironic that stream elements just brought up the thing about prayer um because that's what i was going to suggest that we do real quick just take a moment to pray for kobe uh and his family you know because that's wild dude i can't imagine i can't imagine um yeah, let me pray real quick. Let me pray for Kobe and his family real quick. If you guys want to join me, feel free to bow your heads. Uh, we'll pray for, for Kobe real quick. Um, let's do that. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you again for this time where we could just come together to enjoy video games, uh, to hang out in the chat, uh, to just talk and converse and have fellowship. Um, God, I pray that you would uh, be with uh, Kobe's family uh, as, they, as they deal with this loss, as they mourn. Um, but also um, the, the basketball 
uh, coach's player as well. The, the, the other parent that was in the uh, helicopter with him, God, I pray that you would just be with all of them, be with all their family, uh, and use the churches in their community to love on them, uh, to shower them with, with grace and love uh, in this time. Uh, God, I pray that you would just be with them, and God, I thank you for uh, just the legacy that he was and how he, he encouraged a lot of people to uh, to use their talents that you've given them uh, for basketball and stuff for good, and, and I pray that they would glorify you in that. God, I thank you uh, for this time. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. But yeah. Uh, if, I mean, if you're a Christian in here, or, I mean, even if you're not, you know, and you do with it, you pray, uh, definitely keep them in your prayers uh, this week. This is, that's rough. This is, this is rough. Uh, stay at home gamer catching up with you, man. He says, do you like games that are hard for the sake of being hard? Like, I really don't like the Souls game at all. Um, I'm going to be honest. I have a love-hate relationship with them. I really do. I really, really do. Um, I, I do like them. Uh, I think they're they they're really good at helping me practice patience. But man, do they make me rage really hard. Um, I think because I've beaten Bloodborne and Dark Souls two. Which Dark Souls 2, from what people tell me, um, is just a. It's just a kind. Of, it's kind of like the easiest one out of all three. Uh, but I enjoy them. There, there's days where I'm just not in the mood to play them. But I do enjoy them. Posture damage on her with that. Oh, she blocks the shurikens. Oh, you can block the shurik the, the kunai that she throws. Sick! I didn't know that. Kind of got a little too much distance on that. the kunai I really need to just like get out of the way because I can't seem to dodge them except for that time and not dodge them deflect them what am I talking about words are hard oh man her posture's all the way gone okay come on I'm starting to learn your moves, lady. I'm starting to learn your moves. I'm getting a little confident here. Oh, she doesn't really kill her. Right? Okay, don't do the dodge move. slow on the re reflexes there. Ooh! That was close. There we go. from SBF BGS to help me out with this one. Ah, okay. That's okay, because Resurrect! <laughs> oh, 
I don't know why, but that's funny. Come on, what do you got? Come on. Oh, maybe don't do that move. Okay, we're gonna pay attention. She's got kicks. I broke my one rule on that. Ooh, you missed. You missed. Gotcha. Oh, she got me. Oh, man. She's a tough cookie. She's a tough cookie. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, like when it comes to games like this, like I just, I don't know. Like, I, I, it's definitely something you kind of have to be in a, in a specific mindset to play. Um, because it's just, like if you go into it already amped up, or if you go into it and it's just, do I lose money every time I die? That's a bummer. I don't even know what I use the money for. But yeah, if you just kind of go into it and you just like, I'm sitting here talking like I'm a pro at these games and I'm not. Like if you just go into it, like, I mean, if you just kind of like, let me say this. If you don't like the games, that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I've said, like I said in our last episode with Pastor Deuce, and uh, you don't have to like every game. Um, you don't have to play everything that other people like. You don't have to play all the games that people like. Um, but, yeah, I just, I don't know. To me, I don't know. I'm not going to lie, they are frustrating. Oh, he shoots three arrows. You know, they're definitely frustrating, and I can definitely see why people don't like them. But, I don't know, it, especially with this game, it's just something where, like, if you learn the, if you learn the moves... And you kind of just take some time to learn it and get used to it. It's usually not that bad. Shurikens really do some work on her. Oh snap, oh I didn't jump. Yeah. I knew once she got that sweeping attack in it was it was gonna really throw off my rhythm. Plus also one of the things about this game in particular that if you think of it more like a rhythm game, you actually tend to do better. against those kicks though.
Okay, you're supposed to block, my friend. Ooh. Get in. All right. First round down. Oh, I don't have any snap seeds. Can we get a big oof in the chat for no snap seeds? Big oof in the chat for no snap seeds. Big oof in the chat for no snap seeds. Crud, crud, crud. Oh, dude, this is gonna be impossible. Like I said, big oof in the chat for no snap seeds. Okay. Okay. Can me and you just fight? Because I was doing okay with that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's, yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, bro. Wow. Dude, that's insane. I wonder if anyone has beaten her without using snap seeds. That's what I want to know. If anyone has ever beaten her using snap seeds. I'm sure there has. Someone probably did it with a Guitar Hero controller. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man, that was wild. AZ Rockslide, man, welcome to the stream. I thought you gave up on this game. I did. I did. But as we all know, when I give up on games, I get frustrated because I gave up on a game and then I return to it only to defeat it. It's what I did with Final Fantasy VIII. 2-Bit Lane, welcome, man. I need some of your tips. need some of your tips and your tricks. need some of your tips, some of your tricks, and all that stuff. I have you don't need them. Okay, you don't need them, but I want them. <laughs> if it's going to make the fight easier, I would like to have them. I would like to have them. I would like for them to be a thing that I have. All right, man, no worries, no worries. There we go. Yeah, at one point I did give up on this game. Marked it as abandoned on my GG app. But then I put a poll out for people, was like, hey, what game should I play on stream? And everybody was like, play Sekiro. And I was like, rip. All right. That's what I'm doing for the dear listeners. That's what I do for you guys. It's because I love you guys. You guys voted. You guys picked this game. I'm playing the game. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to beat this game. I'm going to lurk as I continue my second playthrough of Divinity 2. No worries, man. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for leaving the chat up and all that stuff. The chat, the stream, both of the things. Still going to get you dear doubloons. Which, by the way, dear listeners, I'm going to take a break here. Oh, Division 2. Ah, my bad. I thought you were playing Divinity 2 because that's what all the kids are playing now. But yeah, real quick, though. As you guys are hanging out in the... the the stream, the chat, all that stuff. You earn dear doubloons that you can use to bank in the chat for different things uh, in the chat, such as, well, we don't have emotes just yet. Working on that, waiting for Twitch to approve those because I guess they take their sweet time with that. They want to make sure that they're that they're family friendly, even though it's just a deer with uh, headphones. Um, okay, just making sure my headset didn't go down. Um, but yeah, so... Dear doubloons, you can get those while you're watching the channel, and you can use those to redeem a variety of things. Once you get emotes on there, you'll be able to unlock the emotes. Uh, you can also get an emote if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can do that if you have a free Amazon Prime Twitch sub thing. You can hit that sub button and join the Dear Army. 
become a dear listener today. Uh, but yeah, so you can do that in there. But one of the the two things that you can redeem dear doubloons for is you can initiate an ask me anything where you ask five rapid fire questions that I have to ask in the middle of the stream. Could be in the middle of a boss fight. Could be in the middle of me just sitting here talking. Never know. You choose. You can also use your dear doubloons to initiate a stand-up comedy mode where I have to tell one joke. Now, whether or not that joke is funny depends entirely on your sense of humor. Those are things that you can use your dear doubloons on as you hang out in the channel, as you hang out in the stream. Why not hit the follow button while you're here? Why not hit the follow button and enable notifications so you always know when we go live? Have some fun. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. If you are brand new to the channel, uh, say hello in chat to let us know who you are. Tell us your favorite video game of all time. And let me know if you think I'm going to beat this chick. Or, I'm sorry, Lady. Let me know if you think I'm going to beat Lady Butterfly this time. Not off to a good start. I'm gonna be honest. Got her. Pop one of these pellets. Got her. Good posture damage in now. Got her. Look at all that posture damage. Oh, no, no. Oh, man. Dude, she sneaks that sweep attack in. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed with how she sneaks that in so well. Chat, here we go. Time for the illusions. Pop one of these. Pop one of these. And that's it. Where's she at? There she is. I was hoping to get her before she could. Let's see what happens if we just wait these things out, because I think she's going to make them disappear here pretty soon, I would assume. Yeah, there's some right there. Okay, she just called them up. She's going to shoot them. There she goes. Here she comes. Oh, crud. Come on. See what happens if I keep the pressure on.
gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Oh, come on. You're going to call more in? Oh, really? You are an evil... No, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hey, how you doing? How you doing? How are you? Hello, how are you today? Okay, she just called him up. I heard her snap her fingers. All right, she's going to attack. Here they come. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Not today. Not today, lady. Ah, crud, she got me with the kunai. Let's heal real quick. Oh man, I hate how she has, like, no posture damage whatsoever. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, the kunai, I gotta remember that. No, 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 don't get, don't get in the corner, don't get in the corner. Oh, wait, I have a resurrection thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we are. Back at it again. Can you not do that? Get back. I can't do any more shurikens. Crud. What you got, lady? Are the pillars more on fire now than they were before? Anybody else notice that? They seem to be more on fire than what they were. Come this way. Oh, dude. Ah, man. Oh, man. I felt like I was doing pretty good, though. I'm getting the hang of it. That's the thing. I'm getting the hang of it. Okay? I'm not going to wig out. I'm getting the hang of it. I feel like I'm getting this. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Just a couple, just, just a little more practice, and I think I can take her down. The fight, like I said before, the fight is not near as scary as I thought it would be. I watched some YouTube videos, like, back when this game first came out, and I thought, and I thought that, like, this would be a ridiculous fight to where I would just, like, have to just set the controller down and be like, okay, I'm done. But this, no, this is manageable. This really is not that bad. This is really not that bad. Let me, uh, let me get caught up on chat real quick. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Mass Effect Trilogy. I would like one. Knock, knock, you have work to do. I want to go to bed. I told you it was good. It, it was good. I was talking to you up here in the chat, man. You're good to go. Go to bed. Get some sleep, man. Sorry, I've been comping vocals for several hours. Suddenly realized how bad I had to go to the... <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like, when you're in the zone and you're working and stuff, and you're like, man, I really actually need to go eat or use the restroom. That's happened before. That has happened before. For bosses, I will give no tips other than what is asked, unless you are doing something drastically wrong, of course. Well, I hope that I'm doing well. I hope that I'm doing well. Uh, so speaking of prayer, I could use something I've come to find. I harbor unforgiveness in my heart for my manager at my previous job. Ooh. Yeah, man, we'll definitely pray for that. We'll definitely pray for that. Actually, because I'm not the kind of person who say like, I'll pray for you and then, like, forget about it. Let's just do it right now. Let's pray real quick for you, Easy Rock Slide. I'll pray for you, man. 
Um, appreciate you being open enough to, to share that as well. Um, but let's pray real quick. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that you, you know you could really just bring AZ Rock Slide in here and hang out uh, and chat. God, I pray that you would continue to help him out uh, with the, with this unforgiveness he's he's battling uh, for for uh, this manager. God, I pray that you would uh, give him the strength he needs in you and the compassion he needs in you uh, to forgive this manager and to love them as as you love them. God, I pray that you would use this as an opportunity uh, to share your love. Through AZ Rock Slide. Uh, God, I thank you for his openness, and God, I pray that you would just continue to strengthen him in this time. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. There you go, man. Yeah, let us know how it goes. Also, I think you're in the, I'm pretty sure you're in the Discord. Feel free to drop that in the Prayer Request channel uh, as well, man. Uh, that way we can get more people praying. Because the more people praying, uh, I think I think the better uh, the results, and plus it tends out. Wow. Tubalan says, You've certainly improved. I can confirm. PTL. PTL. That's another emote I'm going to make. A PTL emote. All of this game is that way. People just blow the difficulty out of proportion. See, that's the thing. is like It's not... like Once you kind of get the hang of it with the timing and all that jazz, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. I actually kind of like it. Oh, you said to name our favorite game, a Mass Effect trilogy. That's kind of a loophole, though. Getting three games in there. I like your style. Like so, I just want to make sure you liked that second audio cut. And, dude, it kind of blew my mind when you managed to get that in there. I was like, oh, snap, he got that song from Control. And it sounds good. It sounds good. 3,000 points to anyone that understands the meme reference I made in Discord. I don't know if I can... I'll just reply so you have it in writing here, Skinner. There you go, buddy. Let me see. Let me see what the meme was. Kung Pao Enter the Fist. I know that movie. I know that movie. Kung Pao Enter the Fist. I know that movie. Because the, uh, the guy, what does he do? Um, he's talking to his attendant. He's like, mm, your shirt is red. And then his shirt changes red. He's like, mm, your shirt is yellow. And it changes yellow. I remember that scene distinctly because I annoyed all my friends by quoting it so many times. I annoyed my friends by quoting it so many times. Yes, the cow matrix, red and black. Okay, that's what it was. It was red and black. What are the colors of his of his uh, thing? Neo Bum Bum Sporn. Dude, I haven't seen that movie in ages. I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, my gosh. What a movie, man. What a movie. Dude, I'm going to see if Amazon Prime has that. I'm going to do it right now, actually. Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. I'll watch that while I'm uploading the episode to... What's it called? What's that thing called? I upload the podcast to the thing, and it does the thing. So... It's on Amazon Prime, and I can buy it for five dollars. Why don't I just buy it? It's only five bucks. Oh man, what a trip! What a trip! I would watch that again. I would watch that again. When did that movie even come out? Two thousand two? Oh my gosh! Long, long time ago. It's me and my mom's favorite movie. Right on, dude. That's awesome that you got your mom to watch it. I tried to get my parents to watch it, and they were like, this is stupid, Logan. Your taste in movies is disgusting. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, now. Hey, now. I don't even know if I still have Voodoo. Mm, that sounds bad. This is a Christian channel. We don't mess with Voodoo. <laughs> I'm going to check it out, though, and see if it's on there. So if I can get it for cheaper. I'll do this after stream. I'll do this after stream. I mean, yeah, the movie is stupid, but it's hilarious. It's one of those so bad it's good. It's, like, so cringy it's good. Your mom got you to watch it? Dude. 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 Dude, your mom's awesome. Skinner, I'm going to be honest, my friend. I don't know what Police Academy is. Wow, really? Really? I was dodging these just fine earlier, and then I get hit by one. Whatever. Okay, you. Listen, I 
tried my Ferrada line is... He's not going to give me another one. So I'm going to have to do this the hard way. What is the police... What are the Police Academy movies? Is that like, uh... Is that like Super Troopers? It's not Super Troopers, is it? Oops. Oops. Sorta? Alright, I'm gonna try this fight. I'm gonna try this fight one more time. Um, regardless of the outcome, though, I'm gonna end uh, the stream uh, after this fight just because I need to get that episode uploaded and I need to get to bed. Yeah, remember the radar tech and Spaceballs? Dude, it's been so long since I've watched Spaceballs, I don't remember that. Wait, have I seen Spaceballs? I know I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I don't know if I've seen the whole thing. I don't think I don't think I've seen the whole thing. I'll take notes for your overall assessment later. Okay, thank you, thank you, Matt. Appreciate that. I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to watch these movies. Ah, crud. back off a little bit because I need to get my posture back. Well, that could have been bad. Whoa! Alright, you know what? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Matt. Just dying and starting over because that just felt so bad. It's cool that like now though I can feel like when something is, is bad. That definitely felt bad. That was bad. That was a really bad start. <laughs> that was a very bad start. That was... Oh my gosh, that was so bad. That was cringy. I should have known when I got hit by the arrows that it was a bad start. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's head on down. All right, here we go. Wow, this is really bad. Guys, I think I'm starting to lose my mojo. I'll give you 3,000 points if you know what movie that's from. Yeah, I'm just gonna die and start over. Alright, I promise, this next one, no matter what happens, I'm going to end the stream there. I just want to have some good progress is all I want. Just not enough healing right now. What does that mean? Oh, you really need to take next to zero hits in phase one if possible. What? That's a thing? Go through phase one without taking any damage? Known for his sound effects, he plays one of the second line main characters in the Police Academy movies. Do yes, I would love some advice. I would love some stinking advice because I'm getting I don't know what happened. Like I was doing so good a second ago, and then out of nowhere it's just like my mojo is being sapped away from me. You need to be more aggressive, but, B-U-T, controlled aggressive. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have a certain thing where it's like, controlled aggressive, crazy. Like, I just, I don't have, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know what you mean. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. But we'll see. So stay in there. Get in her face. 
and call her all sorts of names. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. Alright, let's try it out. Let's try it out. I'm going to switch this back so you guys can actually see me. Gosh, I need to get better lighting in here. I need to get another light. Attack until you need to block again like you were doing. Attack until you block again like you were doing. Attack with purpose. Don't just spam attacks. Gotcha. I think I need to just focus on doing just one, two hits because... Um, yeah. Is he going to shoot through that? Oh, I didn't know he had a sword. I don't know why that guy just keeps spawning there. It's like, I just... You're just kind of useless. But yeah. So get in her face. It's like a dance. Attack, attack, block, block, attack, block, blah, blah, blah. Obviously can be any order. Gotcha. So again, going back to the mindset of this game is a rhythm game, not a Dark Souls game. Gotcha. Alright, come here. Oh, dude. All right. We got that timing down when she hops up on that line. Like, I know when to throw the shuriken at her. Oh, she's got that. Alright, let's see here. Pop one of these, too. Oh, come on, man. That sweep move gets me every time. Like, she sneaks it in there. Oh, man, that's that sweep move always gets me. I need to learn to be a little more patient. That's why I was thinking of doing just like a, a two-hit combo every time uh, I would go in after deflecting it. Okay, uh, ooh, a lot of tips, I like these. Also, you've been dodging the sweeps well, but you're going away from her when you do. Either only jump straight up so you don't lose distance, or jump on her head and get that... Dang it, I keep forgetting about jumping on her head to do posture damage. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. Because you do that, you do the po you do the jump thing like you just... You just land on her head, isn't it? You jump up and then you land on him? Or do you jump and then hit an X again as you're above him? 
Uh, sounds crazy, but even more aggressive. You're giving her space and waiting for her to attack. That's allowing that posture gauge to dwindle. You want to press her hard. Make her attack. Don't wait for it. Huh, okay. It's a double jump. Jump again as you're landing on them. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. That was better, though, which is good. See? We're getting better at it. That's why I don't... I don't know. That's why with games like this, I, I just I don't get that angry. I guess it's just because I'm more accustomed to how the game works now. Like, I, get a, I have a feeling for how it works. But, yeah. I kind of want to go again, but I really need to go to bed. Because <laughs> I need to get this episode uploaded, pushed out, and then uh, and going. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end the stream there, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Matt, thank you again for the tips. Good, sir. I appreciate that um, with this game, because without that... Oy vey. Oy vey. Let me see if there's anyone online that we can go raid, and then we will go do that as well. Hmm. Ooh, this ought to be good. I don't know if this is appropriate to raid him, but we're going to do it anyway. It's always good to start off a raid with. I don't know if it's appropriate to raid these people, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go raid uh, GMA Ministries. They're doing their Pastors After Dark thing where they talk. They get four pastors together to talk about a topic. Uh, we're going to go raid their stream real quick. And then we will uh, we'll go from there. But again, thank you guys for hanging out in the chat. Thank you for the follows and all that jazz. Um, working on a schedule for the channel. I don't have it set in stone just yet. Um, but yeah, we will we will work on that, and then I'll post it out to the social media. So if you guys want to follow us on our social medias, it's Twitter, actually, exclamation point social. There you go. You can follow us on Twitter right there. So yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and raid GMA Ministries with their pastors after dark. We will go from there. Again, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for helping me out in this game. I appreciate it. But let's go ahead and raid their channel. Let's go ahead and raid their channel. All right, cool guys. Here we go. I'm gonna initiate the raid. We're gonna go in a couple of seconds, and then we'll go over there, hang out for a little bit, and I will upload the new episode of the podcast. You guys can look forward to that later. All right, cool guys. Again, thanks again, and until next time, GG and amen.